Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Tavian's World of Reptiles. I hope you are all doing well and taking care of yourselves. Uh, if this is your first time to my channel, please check out some of my other content. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell and get notified on future content. If you are a returning subscriber, you rock. Thank you so much for always showing support. Uh, either way, whether you are new or old, please interact with this video in any way you feel comfortable, whether that is hitting the thumbs up or the thumbs down or leaving a comment anything to trigger YouTube's algorithm in my favor. Now today's video is going to be about Artemis, my very large boa. For anybody who has been following me uh, since before my little one month break um, and you, the last time you saw her aside from my all my reptiles videos and she was in this state. Oh big anger. Now, as you saw in my All My Reptiles video, she's a lot calmer. She's relaxed and she's chilled out. Uh, and she's gone, been going through some stuff. So, uh, I figured I would go ahead and update you all on her and what's been happening with that and where she's at now and my progress plans for her. So, while I'm talking about her, I'm going to go ahead and flip this camera over on her so that we can see her while I am talking about her. So, let's go ahead and do that real quick. But, yeah, she had gotten cut up from glass a little bit on top of her nose so that kind of causes a bit of swelling around uh, the more front of her mouth not just underneath that eye right there but as you can see that swelling is gone down significantly I mean it was absolutely hard to ignore you can almost hardly see it now I know girl you're not trying to you're not trying to have it uh, but yeah you can hardly see it now it's gone down a lot but it is still there um, but then she had to go on six weeks of antibiotics for that um, and it, it did go down with the antibiotic but it is still there I'm just taking my own extra precautions recently uh, since the antibiotics in it and just doing a lot more not just since but even during the antibiotics uh, keeping it really clean uh, occasionally using some hydrogen for Oxide on a Q-tip and just kind of wiping away all the the worst of the gunky stuff that used to get really caked up. As you can see, it's a lot clearer now, but it was really caked up at one point. Uh, and so I started using a little bit of peroxide to kind of clear that out. And, you know, maybe if I didn't want to go so hard with peroxide, I've used like vinegar to try to clean it out, just with a little bit of Q-tip, just kind of keeping it clean. And it's been helping with keep getting the swelling to go down uh, and stay down. But uh, yeah, her face is only just now starting to get a little bit you know less uh weird shaped it was really like that front mouth was extremely swollen like way out uh and same with the eye and as you can see uh from the top view it's definitely gone in a bit i mean not that you probably remember what it looked like but i didn't really think it's don't think i've already put the camera close but uh you can see that uh her face is uh is is doing a lot better so and she's going through her shed so she had a really scabbed up face here for a minute uh but with her shed it looks like she's cleared out a lot of that uh but yeah there she is everybody she's in shed um now you can see over here this is her enclosure it does not have a glass on it um and that's because i made the mistake of uh, I had something there was the glass uh, and then there's her water dish that came out to about like here and I think she tried to shove past it and it just put too much pressure and literally just snapped the glasses uh, like a lot of pressure and it was like it snapped the glass so she no longer has a uh, glass in her enclosure right now so she's been staying in a uh, less than pleasant like small tub but she also has been getting a lot more time out take her out get her a lot of stretching out so that she's not just uh, in a tub that's like because she's too small for any tub to be known to man. So uh, there's no tub that could be work for her comfortably. But uh, she's in this. She's in a tub that I get to take her out of every day. So she's not staying in it constantly. Evie, this is not the place for you right now. You should keep moving. You should keep moving. Keep moving. Go. 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 No. Okay, that's fine. Just don't come over here. Don't come any closer. 
All right, so yeah, I'm not gonna keep uh keep going with that, but yeah, so she is doing really well, you guys. Her mood's a hell of a lot better than it's ever been before, um, and is no longer. Uh, she's not huffy, she's not strikey. Uh, whatever was happening, she was not in a great mood. She did not feel good. Her face is all messed up. The swelling was uncomfortable, um, and all that. But she's doing a lot better now. She's past her antibiotics. The swelling is going down. I'm gonna give it another maybe week, maybe two of doing what I'm doing if that has not gone down. Now, when I went to the vet, uh, they had pushed around that, that part of her eye there, like, in the inside, and there was some, like, hardcore discharge, like, some harder, chunky kind of stuff that came out, and, and caused the swelling to go down a little bit. So he was saying that if I wanted to just do the antibiotics and just kind of keep trying to work, push some of that out whenever I can, uh, and just see if that works, then we can do that first, which is what I chose to do, and it sort of worked, definitely kept the swelling down to be able to push out any gunk that build up in there, um, uh, and I'll just continue to keep doing that, even though she's not on antibiotics uh, for a little while, uh, to see if that continues to work, but he says if uh, it gets to a point where that still is just not going to go away, um, and I want that I can um, bring her back in, and they will have to just sedate her, and go in and lance it, and just kind of clean all of it out, uh, by just kind of cutting it open and pulling it all out uh, but hopefully with just constantly squeezing it out um, and cleaning it for another couple of weeks even out without the antibiotics that it will straighten out but if not um, then it looks like she's gonna have to go down and get that cut open and get any harder whatever that is in there uh, removed so yeah that's it everybody uh, not a very long video but you all were definitely looking for an update uh, for Artemis and as you can see uh, she is looking good and she's in a much greater greater spirits uh, than that first clip that, <laughs> that you saw or from way back then. So now I'm going to go ahead and leave her here so she can finish her shed. Do you guys see this? How crazy that is? Look at this is fresh. This is old. <laughs> this is fresh. This is oh wild the color difference that happens with them when they are uh, losing their skin, huh? Just like light, dark, light, dark. So anyway, wild. I don't want to keep going on about it. I'm going to go ahead and let her go so she can uh, finish that up. But yeah, that is all, everyone. This is Maleficent. She is doing a lot better uh, mood-wise, temper-wise, and uh, health-wise. Uh, and I'm sure that the, uh, that eye and the mouth, and it's mostly the mouth. I keep saying the eye, but the swelling is coming from something inside the mouth. So, so hopefully that mouth and everything else will continue to go down in swelling, and then everything will uh, slow level out for her and she'll be back to her full on shape in no time and I will get her um, some glass of maybe hopefully in the next like my next paycheck on the first of next month uh, with all this quarantine stuff is definitely making me reprioritize my money um, but hopefully on the next paycheck um, getting her glass back onto her enclosure uh, will will be my friend. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that done for her. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up because I'm now starting to ramble and don't have much more to say on it. So, there you all go. There is your update on um, Artemis. I'm not sure if I've called her Maleficent again because <laughs> I did that the other day in my video. But this is Artemis. Artemis, 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 not Maleficent. Artemis, my big giant boa uh, update. So, you all take care. Love yourselves. Love your loved ones. Love your reptiles. And you guys keep spreading those herbs.